Hey everybody, Jake here for the Game Bench Offices again, and we're just going to go ahead and walk through what you can do to resolve any issues you might have with the Game Bench desktop client, specifically on Windows. So, what I'm going to do is I've connected our Alcatel Idle X Plus here, and I'm going to go ahead and run our Game Bench desktop client. Now you'll see that it's asking me to connect an Android device, and in about 10 seconds, It'll give me a prompt that says no device has been detected, and it'll give you four steps that you can do to check whether or not uh, you've got any other issues. This includes whether or not the Android debug bridge drivers have been installed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and hit OK here, and that'll close the desktop client. And I'm going to go into the Start menu here, and we're going to type Device Manager. So once we bring that up here, we can see that I have under Other Devices the Alcatel Idle X Plus. It has a little warning sign next to it. So we can right click and hit update driver software and because we've already installed the universal driver we can go ahead and hit browse my computer and then select from a list of device drivers. Inside this list you're going to see Android device as a hardware type. Go ahead and hit next and the driver that we want to choose is the Android Composite ADB interface driver. So select that, hit next, and if you get a prompt warning you about compatibility with the driver, just go ahead and hit yes, we'd like to install it anyway. So you can close that now, and as you can see, under device manager, we now have an Android device. So we're going to close device manager, and we're just going to rerun that desktop launcher. So as soon as we rerun it, you can see that it's detected the connected device, and that the game bench service has successfully started. You can now disconnect your device, and from here on out, you can run GameBench as you would normally, though remember if you do reboot your device, you will need to rerun the desktop launcher. Now, if you have had to follow these steps, if you do connect a new device, you may have to go back through into Device Manager and select Driver. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.